Uh, king of the slick up. Hey, call me Lord of the Chain, God of the wristwatch. Fashion be your move. Speaking of real, the real is back. Yeah, ah. a lot of people pulled up for this right here. Yeah, I mean, d -d 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 dot mob. Did I say it right, Smith? Try, do, you do it. You gotta do the, you gotta do all of this. Oh, all right. Oh, I didn't get my mannerisms together when I was get that nigga Henny. Listen, man, I'm so excited about this news right here, man. I've been saying, uh, we, you know, the K Shine versus URL situation. Well, he clarified that a little bit right here. Check this out. K Shine says, uh, I spoke to URL and we spoke about some things that is kind of suitable for the both of us i agree to do some things if they agree to do some things i really like what i heard and if they honor that then we straight nonetheless we are back a step closer to positivity as far as k-shine and the url is concerned zipping up juice shot with a tupac with a oop with a blue dot on a new yacht with a crew top i don't know what he be saying <laughs> Zip up so stupid. <laughs> okay so shine I spoke to you URL, and let this be a lesson, y'all. This is why you cannot get in people business, man. <laughs> this is why. Because it's some people that chose a side in this situation. We got to keep it real. Yeah. Some niggas that chose a side in this situation. <laughs> I can't talk. Chose a side in this situation. You know what I mean? And Sean ain't not see that. And so Sean made up with URL, but he's probably looking at those people different. And it's also some people that spoke against URL and sided with Shine. URL saw that. They might not act on it too much because Smack Beasley and Chico, them niggas know how to really keep it mostly about business. They, they don't really move with yeah. emotion as far as if it's beneficial business-wise, they still going to do it. But if you do cross them and it's not beneficial business-wise, you getting stiff-armed. You know what I mean? So just don't pick a motherfucking side, man. You know what I mean? I'm happy that Shine is talking like that. I do hope that whatever business that they figured out does, you know what I mean, come to fruition and blossoms as it should because the culture clearly misses K-Shine, though. Like, clearly. Yeah. Like, the petition I saw for him was unlike any other. That was like the let the locks go, Joe. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, no, bro. It was, you know what I mean? It was, it was dead. Oh, that joint with picket signs, like, bring Hell Shine yeah. back. Hell yeah, man. And it was that deep, man. And then I saw this on Hip Hop Is Real, who interviewed K Shine. So check this out. Huh? We hand that T Rex and K Shine reunited. The dot mob 2023, stronger than ever. What y'all think? I, I, mean, think you I, I think you just showing off because you did. did, 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 did oh! Yeah, you know I mean, I love. You get I, it. And then I love hearing that. I don't know exactly where the quote came from, but I know they interviewed all them niggas recently. So if they saying it, it must be some basis to it. And I can't wait for that time. Like, if they make an official reunion announcement, bro, it's going to shake battle rap. Of course. It's going to shake battle rap. We all here for the nostalgia. We all here for the for the love and camaraderie and the brotherhood of Dot Mob, the original battle rap crew. Shout out to that. You feel me? Not to be outdone. You know what I mean? Murder Mook been talking some shit. Let's go. Uh, my, my man Murder Mookington. He said, well, I know Rum Zitty. Uh, Rum Zitty is what I called him his name. I know Rum Nitty possesses, poses the least threat to me. Wait a minute. The first sentence, is that's why I couldn't say it, because it's like you know, a jab, uppercut, counter with a right. <laughs> I know Rum Nitty poses the least threat to me. His style won't work. Just gumballs can't beat me. His lines be fire. And they be creative as, but I don't feel like none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't think people feel his shit. You know what I'm saying? He's more along the lines of cookie cutter, just bar, bar, bar. This is like a diss rap right here. It really uh, is. <laughs> I didn't that, read it, but I'm listening to you read you know it like, oh, shit. That's not going to win. Did you see? Oh, oh shit. My bad, brother. <laughs> nah, nah Mook, Mook got a whole round right here. Golly. You did, did you see what Reed did to Rum? Nitty don't really talk. And by the second round, all the name flips become redundant. Easy. Da, 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 da. Hey, listen. Listen. Spit. I love Rum. Pause if needed. I've been saying this for years. Uh-oh, I know where you're going. No, no, that's, that's it. No, what, what? What Mook 
just say it in a completely way more respectful way. I've been saying this for years. The thing about rum and people who only have punches, by the third round, they are competing with their first round. Our punchline intake is not going to allow us to just remember every single punch. So now you competing with your other punches. If the other person over there is showing versatility, they're going to have a punch you remember, a haymaker you remember, a personal you remember, a scheme you remember, a flow you remember. You know what I mean? It's going to be different things, and sometimes that can become overpowering. Now, Mook saying that shit like it's just easy to do, he's going to have to show me some niggas that easily did it. You feel me? Like, at the end of the day, you can't just act like it's like this nigga's a walkthrough. Hell no. You know what I mean? You might got the formula right, but that don't mean you could do that shit yourself at home, though. You feel me? Like, hey, listen, I was going to say, if all I do is punch the nigga block it, you know, mm-hmm. I think that that's the mindset of everybody that, that gets Facts. put in that in that category, the rum nitties, the farms, the, you know what I'm saying, the people that, 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 that have, the people that that's their special power, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's Lux said it's a different backup when it's in front of hold you. On, hold, you on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad, bro. My bad, bro. Cause I don't want to forget the all of Nova says all of Rums rounds versus A Wall was nasty. So Dad said all of Rums rounds against Bill were nasty. Rum Nitty is the best puncher of all time. Now give me one punch from each round. Uh oh. It's go, you're, you're gonna you're gonna run dry. You probably gonna remember three Tricky. from one round, two from. Yeah, I mean, it's, you just can't intake and memorize all that shit. Is what I'm saying. Regardless of how crazy these rounds are written, you you, you can't intake all of that. And then you're going if you're going against somebody who got the ticket for it. That's when you see punchers run into problems. That's that's why Shotgun Shook was is able to combat with. All of the best punches. Remember, Shotgun Shug said, give me all the pins. And he having these battle with the pins and they not kicking his ass. It's because he got these other intangibles that these punches are not adding or maybe not even capable of adding. Fonz has a little bit of size and stature. That gives him a little bit more of this. Av had to add some real talk in his shit. Some old, uh, That's why the as a man shit worked for him. Because it gave him yeah. an extra layer, like, I have on this grown man shit. You know what I mean? Rum is still Rum the Punchline Alien. So so I get what he's trying to say. Rum is the best puncher of all time. Mook is right, though. But Mook, that don't mean you can beat Rum. And, and and that's what I was getting at with quoting Lux. It's a different backup when it's in front of you. Yeah, a lot yeah, of, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot of people watch boxing and say, I would have threw the left. I would have did this. I would have did that. But it's like you could prepare as best as you think you ever prepared in your life. And when you get in that ring, it could go, you know what I'm saying, left or right or whatever. So as far as Mook, I'm not disagreeing with Mook as far as some of the shit he was saying about Rum. But, you know what I'm saying, you you would have to prove that to me in a ring and not in a tweet or not in an interview. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, so that said, I would argue Rum is a pen, too. I completely agree. I think that it's different types of pens and the two main ones I think of the two main ones everybody should think of is the punchline artist and the lyrical, the lyricist, the, the yeah. lyrical miracle type of guys. Yeah. You know I mean, the people who going to give you all the flows, the, uh, the chillers, the, the B dots, the, those guys is what yeah. you think about when you think about the pens, like but you cannot be a punchliner without having a pen. I don't even understand people who leave the best punchers out of the pen comp twerk. Great pen. Yeah, you know I mean, what is he? What the fuck is he writing this shit with? If it ain't a pen, like a meta, this is a metaphorical pen fucking these niggas up. You know right, I mean? right. The words, you know what I'm saying. At the end of the day, and I do think Rum do a little bit of performing with his shit, but I, I don't never hear nobody talking about that. It's always about the punches. He needs to, he needs to create a different narrative too. Yeah, you know I mean, he needs to create that. Like I said, Av as a man, shit like that, and then apply it so that you could put it in people's head. I don't only punch. That's why Fon shit is genius because he say they say all I do is punch. When nigga, you know I mean he's confronting it, and then he, you know what I mean like that's yeah. you got to take the power back. You know what I mean shout out to uh, Mook. I'm not saying that he can't defeat Rum because I saw what he just did versus the other EFB member. Maybe he riding on a high horse. I'm not gonna doubt that man though. But don't act like that shit is a motherfucking walk to to Juniors for Cheese 
cake, nigga. <laughs> We're hey, a little hey. bit tougher than that. URL, set it up. Smack Chico Beasley. Rum Nitty versus Mook. One known. I needed to have I'm just putting, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know. Putting that in the air. Putting it, oh, damn. Okay, uh, bottom of the second on Mook, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mook says, I don't give a fuck, to be honest. Let people pick, but it would be Hitman, matter of fact. Who are we kidding from? You a little nigga for, wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold up. Yeah, did, did that just happen in the middle of the sentence? Nah, that's that. That's what this. That's the, in the quote. Middle, in the middle of the quote. In the middle of the quote. Let's talk battle rap. Really quoted this man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Murder Mook got two two diss verses out on Rum already. <laughs> Matter of fact, fuck all that. <laughs> Yo, uh, listen, I li- listen. I'm gonna need Rum to go rap in front of some fish or something. It's on you after this Rum. All right, start, so start, start over. Start over. Start over. Let, let, let me gotta hear this curveball. All right, easy. Okay, listen, <laughs> listen. I don't give a fuck to be honest. Let people pick, but it would be Hitman. Matter of fact, who are we kidding? Rum, you a little nigga for real, and Hitman is a bigger little nigga. <laughs> he really said that. All right, hold on, hold on. And Hitman is a bigger little nigga. Hitman got this complex. You still a little nigga to me? Hold up, when can you... I ask you something? If a person is a bigger little nigga. <laughs> Doesn't that make him littler than the initial little nigga? Yeah. Or does that make him like a bigger little nigga? All right. So listen, right, and and, and don't take this out of context. But okay. like, if it if, if it's two people standing outside, and you say you a bitch, and he even more of a bitch than you are, that that that's makes what, both. That, that's what he. That's what he. And you definitely not calling anybody that word, but you give an example. Right. Right. That's what he's. But that I mean, he's saying disrespectful words. You a little nigga. He a he a bigger little nigga. So that translates to more of a little nigga. Okay, I give it. Hey, yeah. Because it's, hey, like, a, it's like a somebody, double negative, yo. To call somebody a bigger little nigga is crazy. I he said. Like, it's like if a nigga say yo yeah, and it'd be like nah yo. Did you say yes? No, no, no. I didn't say yes. Like it's, it's start, <laughs> yeah. it starts to get confusing, man. Confusing. <laughs> Where, like, yes, I said no. Yes, I said no. And no, I didn't say yes. How about that? All right, so he said, Hitman got this complex. You still a lord nigga to me. <laughs> when you said you called yourself murder mook, you always gonna be a lord nigga to me. But you got a battle against easy and you're gonna lose that. Okay, so murder mook has did his own version of top tier via quotes in the interview. When he's just taking shots at everybody. I mean you got you got a little nigga, you got a bigger little nigga. You got you got somebody with a complex, and then you got some, and then he just straight up gave a prediction and was like, "Yeah, but you're gonna lose that." <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, Mook is feeling itself, man. That that last performance definitely got him talking crazy. I'm not mad at it though, man. This is the type. Th- th- this is when you should talk crazy after a big win like that. Get that off because we all counted you out. We all talked about your other performances and all that. Talk crazy while you can talk crazy. Yo, it's the thing about me, Spiff, I'm a battle rapper, right? And I and I'm a super competitor. You a super competitor too when it comes to rapping, right? Right. Niggas don't be scared to like poke the bed. Like, look at how easy talking to Hitman. Look at how Mook is talking to like rum and like Hitman. Like, look, I mean, dog. Niggas don't be worried about that shit, though. You know what, though? And that comes from the competitive spot. I don't think anybody's looking or fighting to be, you know what I'm saying, the, the top superstar, even though that comes with beating certain people. But you got people that's just strictly in it to say, dog, I rap better than you. And that's it. I don't care how many shows you did, how many chains you got, how many tours you've been on. When we get in the ring in this battle rap world, if it's like a bubble or uh, a UFC ring or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's nothing you could do with me on this level. Yo, see, my thing is and this, though. My, my thing is this, though. I definitely respect it, right? And definitely, once you agree to battle a nigga, you should definitely feel like you're better than the person. My 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 thought process here where I'm kind of confused that is y'all, y'all niggas want to piss off your opponent? Like, I be, I be, yo, I be trying to uh, chill. I really don't even want to go too crazy because I want you to show up how you going to show up. 
I'm trying to kill you. I'm not trying to motivate you to kill me back. You feel me? Like, nigga, you show up however you was going to show up and get your ass beat. You poke the bear. The, the, what they say? Do not bark up that tree. That tree going to fall on you. Now, yeah. that person's more motivated than maybe even you because you pissed them off. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's, 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 that. I, I really think this shit is like, I, I think war tactic style. Rock the nigga to sleep. Don't even talk too crazy. When it happened, you gonna see what the fuck happened. Like Mook just broke down rum style. Like that's something you hold to yourself. I'm I I I I got the nigga figured out, but I show y'all. Yeah, you know what though? I think that's where the phrase "selling the fight" was invented, because it's like if if, if somebody is that confident or overly confident in their talent. Then of course it's going it's going to come off a little cocky or conceited or whatever to where it's like dog he's a little nigga and you a bigger little nigga because I feel like I am King Kong with this shit anyway. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's same thing with, with with Easy and the Hitman interview like like not interview but the face off he kept saying, bro you you gonna have to leave everything that you accomplished behind you when you step in front of me like none of that matters. I love I love it I, I yo bro I love I love it you're right it is selling a fight and all that. But I'm a rock. I'm, 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 yo, if I'm battling a hitman, I have every intention on kicking his ass, of course. But I'm not going to try to piss him off. <laughs> I'm not. If I'm battling rum, if I'm battling mook, if I'm battling anybody, I'm not going to try to piss them off. The thing is, if they try to piss me off, now they got a pissed off version of me. Every time a nigga, every snake eyes uh, face off I did, I wrote 10 more rounds. <laughs> You feel me? That's real though, yeah. You you yeah. yeah. Nah, that's real. See, but 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 you know what though? Sometimes people need that motivation either to be pissed off or either to to be the person that's pissing somebody that, off. That's say, what I think it is, right there. What you just said. You know what I'm saying like like I got that one up on you because I was able to make you turn into this person. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and then, then then they kind of run with that like. You know what I'm saying? I could get you mad when I want. I could get you paid when I want. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then it becomes like a, a bar or, you know what I'm saying? A little sneak tactic that niggas use. Like, yo, this shit was kind of disrespectful, man. That, 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 nah, look. This nigga, this nigga, uh, Mook was going crazy, man. Nah, that was my first time reading both of them. Like, usually I have it in my head so I could get through it a little better, but I'm reacting as I'm reading. Like, oh, nah, he really in his bag. I'm going to go back and watch this interview so I can see how much of a straight face he had when he said it. Because, you know, Mook always been talking like that forever about anything. Like, yeah. Mook can argue about basketball. Nah, shoes. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Mook ain't never talked this crazy about battle rap. Like, about battle rappers directly. Both of them niggas is little niggas. He a little, he a bigger little nigga. Like, Mook was never talking like that publicly. You know what, though? All right, so if that's the case, you got to credit the interviewer, though, because Mook don't really rap, and you got him to rap. So whatever whatever conversation y'all was having mm. prior to that, and then you was like, let me get some balls, and he rapped. Yeah. So whoever was interviewing him, you know what I'm saying, must have been talking about Champion of the Year, must have been talking about Chrome 23, and then he was 20 minutes in, Mook was comfortable, and he just got in his bag and was like, you know what, let me tell you how I really <laughs> <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga. I got some shit to get off my chest real quick, man. Shout out to Mook. Exactly how Shout out to Mook, like. man. That, I think that's really what it is. First and foremost, man, Mook and Easy specifically are just two of the most confident people I've ever yeah. witnessed. Yeah, you know I mean, now you like Mook exudes confidence. He just don't always talk crazy like that. But like when he talk, it's like, hold on. Like a, a Cassidy, like some some niggas just talk crazy, believe in themselves, go up there, and at the end of the day, we really still only seen Mook lose one, and that's the A verb. And years later, people still try to debate that. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know what I mean? Can we really say Mook is wrong? Easy is undefeated right now. You know what I mean? Let the record reflect as far as URL days are concerned. Mm -hmm. Can we really say he wrong? You know what I mean? Cassidy. Ain't nobody got a clear win on them yet. Can we really say he wrong? But damn, man, I don't know, man. Niggas, I don't know. That shit just crazy to me. Like, because if, if I'm if I'm these niggas' opponents or who they talking about, man, dog, I'm not sleeping tonight. I'm not sleeping tonight. Who the fuck you was talking to, nigga? 
I'm not going to sleep tonight. The fuck, are you talking about? What but listen, though, man, man, that but but that's the energy that that I think battle rap need, boxing, basketball, whatever. You need that type of competitive energy because if not, it's going to get boring real fast. You know what I'm saying? Everybody need that type of villain attitude or, or that type of overly confident attitude, and then even more so. When and if they get proved wrong, it's even more to talk about. Like, like you was talking for weeks, months, in the face off, this, that, and the third. I just clearly won this battle. Now mm-hmm. what? You know what I'm saying? So all this shit makes for great, you know what I'm saying, conversation pieces, man. But you need easies. You need mooks. You need Cassidy's. You need the people that say, dog, I ain't never lost in my life. You I ain't need even people lost. like me. You know what I'm saying? You can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. You know, li- listen, you know, Cassidy fucking around and say, I ain't never lost in my life. I ain't never even lost my breath. I'm undefeated. So what does that make you? Good. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I man. Salute to that. Ty. Salute to that, though. Salute to that, though. You know what I want to do, Spence? Uh, king of the slick up. Hey, call me Lord of the Chain, God of the wristwatch. Fashion be your movie. I'm...